Right, I know I've been away for some time. There's been a bit of a gap between this and the last video. Why have I been away? None of your business. I've got a private life too. I've been doing my own things. I was meant to make this video about two weeks ago, but I've been so busy. I've finally come on today to talk about a topic which... I've just been rattling around in my brain for the last few weeks. Ever since I saw the new Ghostbusters film, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, I have just been wondering, we're in this very weird place at the minute with movies, and is it a time to stop just bringing these characters back for the sake of it and let some of these franchises just rest for a while? So today I'm going to be talking to you about, is it time for the Ghostbusters to end? We're going to have a quick look at some other franchises as well and compare it. First up, very importantly, a little bit of history with me and the Ghostbusters, so you know where I stand on this franchise. I did grow up with the original, it was on TV a lot, my parents liked the film, and it's a very fun 80s movie. It's iconic, and it's now got this cult following behind it as well, which people just can't get enough of. The toys, and all the merchandise that comes out around this franchise. This one movie is just, it's incredible what it's done, and no one can take that away from it. It's a very fun movie. Is it perfect? No. But it's a lot of fun. Great cast, great effects for the time, and it's all around just good vibes. It's good fun. Yeah, they tried a sequel. It wasn't as good but you know for what it was it was fine the second one's a fine movie i genuinely don't have loads to say on it i think for what it is it's a decent film you can have a lot of fun with it as well and you get a lot of the feels from the first film it's just obviously a step down ghostbusters went on a really big break then and to be honest i find myself asking a lot now should it have ever come back of course we had that 2016 one which stars Melissa McCarthy and a whole bunch of terrible comedians from that god-awful American show. We have got a great show tonight. Sia is here, so stick around. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. Now it's laser time. What a load of shit. And, yeah, the film came out, and it was, it was just... Fucking trash. You got Chris Hemsworth making jokes like this. God, that's loud, huh? It's loud. It's loud. <laughs> it's not fucking funny. It's just not. It's not. It's not funny. You see the cast members promoting it going, oh my god, he's so funny. Hilarious. <laughs> Who is where? We like, were like, did you bring writers or something? Like, he was killing it. Like, it killing it. Funny. Shut up. It's, it's not. It is the lowest denominator of comedy. It's like they got the writers from Chips movie or something, which is just as fucking shit. And they kill off like Bill Murray in it. It's ridiculous. The film is it's, ah, it's just so bad. So bad in every way. Okay. Okay, we've got past that one. Then we come to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Didn't know how I felt about this one. The promotion for it wasn't particularly amazing. Um, and I sat down in the cinema and I watched it. And yeah, this is the true Ghostbusters sequel I think we all wanted. Afterlife slap. It was really good. It was an inch off the original for me, in my opinion. It just hit all the right notes again. And it had its own story to tell. And with that, you have this heartbreaking ending. You've got great new characters. And the point which I'm going to stress here is the new characters, they come back at the end, yeah, just to do the final fight scene, but they weren't full down your throat. It felt like they actually had a purpose to play in it, especially Dan Aykroyd's Ghostbuster. There was an actual purpose for him being in this film. And at the end, you get this moment where they all come together and it's a passing of the torch. And that was it. That's where the old cast should have gone off into the distance. And it pains me to say, because as much as I love the original cast, it was a beautiful ending for them. And that should have been it. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is bringing back all of the Ghostbusters, including other old characters. Oh my god! Woo! Here we go! Here we go! They're doing it! They're doing another one! Now, as I say, before we get on to Frozen Empire bringing back old characters, this has worked kind of well sometimes for franchises. It has just worked badly for some. And then they tried it again. And then they tried it again. And I hear they're trying it again. Please stop, stop. <laughs> and then sub franchises bring a character back. It's so shit. They don't even know how to explain it themselves. 
somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> Hello, Star Wars Weekends fans. How you doing? They copy lines from other movies. I am all the Sith. And I am all the Jedi. I am inevitable. All the Jedi. And now they're making an entire animated show to try and make it make sense. <laughs> Damn you, Rise of Skywalker. But sometimes it works really well, as I say. Sometimes these old characters come back into franchises. They have a purpose to the story. That's always the main thing for me. As long as the character they're bringing these characters back for reasons and they have good intentions of progressing these original characters with the plot, I don't have a problem with it. I don't. But it just seems today. We do get the occasional good one, as I say, but we get so many fluffy ones where it's like, this is pointless. Horror franchises are doing it, sci-fi franchises doing it, action franchises are doing it, everyone is doing it at the minute. Ghostbusters had a brilliant opportunity to end off with Afterlife. Not end off the entire franchise, but end off the original Ghostbusters. Perfect ending. Loved it. Mm. I come out of the cinema of that film very happy. Going into this one, I was very nervous. The trailers weren't blowing me away. It looked more like your generic modern blockbuster, which Afterlife didn't. This one, Frozen Empire, looked a lot more Marvel. <laughs> Buster makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. Yeah, my summary on the film is it was painfully boring. It's just like... 50,000 characters in it for a start. You've got the new characters from Afterlife. You've got the old characters from the original films. You've got a whole bunch of new characters. They're bringing back some more old characters. You've got loads of ghosts in this. Old ghosts. You've got a ghost that's talking to one of the main characters, which just didn't work, by the way. Jesus Christ, man. Talk about overloading your film with characters. This is why I look back at some of the Avengers blockbusters and I'm like, fair play. You had like... 40 superheroes to deal with there, and you handled it really well. They all got a great amount of screen time, and, they, and the film worked. Jesus Christ, man. Talk about overloading your film with characters. This is why I look back at some of the Avengers blockbusters, and I'm like, fair play. You had, like, 40 superheroes to deal with there, and you handled it really well. They all got a great amount of screen time, and, they, and the film worked. This film can't handle five characters, let alone the 20 or so it tries to shove down your throat. You've got plot line, plot line, plot line, plot line, plot line, and they're all just getting in this big mess, and you just don't know which one to concentrate on. You forget that some are even happening in the background, it just comes back to it like 10 minutes later, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, that was happening, I forgot. So the film itself was such a disappointment compared to Afterlife. Afterlife was like, you know, not amazing, but it was a really good film. And we've taken such a huge leap back. And in my opinion, the original cast are just in this too much. The special novelty of them being there completely wore off. Dan Aykroyd is in this just too much, as much as I love the man, he's in it too much. Bill Murray. Oh, I love Bill Murray, one of my favourite actors ever. He did not want to be in this film. There's a scene where he like fully just downed some whiskey and I was like, I bet that was real whiskey. I bet it was real. He doesn't want to do this film. You could tell. And it is just such a shame that, that after the buzz of Afterlife walking out being like, yeah, that was really good. That's how you bring a franchise back. That they've just put it back in the ground. I don't really know what else to say about this one, to be honest. But it, the point stands that they've they, they made something good, special, maybe if you will, I don't know, and typical Hollywood fashion, they're gonna milk it to death, and this film, it just feels like they didn't even try, and it's it's just such a, a mess of a film to watch, and it's just hard to take in after the buzz of the last film. So I say, is it time for the Ghostbusters to end? Because it's such a weird franchise. Like, you have this cult classic big film from the 80s, which is great, I'm not gonna knock it, it's, it's a fun film, it's a product of its time, and it's brilliant for what it is. Let's ignore two, let's not talk about that garbage that come out in 2016, again because I will get angry and you come back with Afterlife and you get a nice closing chapter. They wanted to carry it on, I think they should have just carried on with just the new cast, kept it simple again and grounded, but no! They go big! Whole planet's gonna freeze! Original characters coming back! And they just go too big, too sloppy and They've ruined it. They've ruined it. Is it time for the Ghostbusters to end? Yes. Yes. Ghostbusters is not Star Wars. It's not Marvel. It's not Middle Earth. It's not Harry Potter. It's not James 
Bond. It's not none of these big franchises. It's not on that level. It's just not. And I'm sorry to the big fans of it. It never will be. It takes these huge breaks. How can it sustain that when it's just constantly going away, taking those big gaps, and it's coming back always with very mediocre sequels, if you will. I think Ghostbusters, for what it is, you know, you've got the original, which is great. You've got Afterlife now, which is a great follow-up. But now it's just gonna, it's just gonna put itself in the ground. It's gonna milk itself. It's time to end it. Afterlife was the perfect ending point. I'm not sure where they go with it now. Will they even do another one? Because I don't believe Frozen Empire has done that well. Anyway, guys, what more can I say? What more can I say? I don't know. Now it's up to you guys to let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think it's time for Ghostbusters to end? Maybe one more? Dare I say we risk it? Maybe one more and this is like the big hoorah. This is it. This is the real last one. And then if it does well, it won't be. We know it won't be. We know how these big studio corporations work. I would love to see a really nice ending for this franchise. It's a shame because we had it. Yeah, we all know how Hollywood works. It's not over until they're literally only making pennies. Hello, I like money. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Should Ghostbusters end? Should it have maybe have one more to wrap it up? Maybe should it try TV or something? I don't know. But for me personally, I think these films really, really need to just go away. It's not the franchise like the ones I listed a minute ago. Maybe come back in another 20 years and try it again. I don't know. I don't know. It's a topic for us all to discuss in the comments below. So let me know. And yeah, have a happy Christmas. God, that's loud, huh? That's why he was killing it.